What can the upper middle class afford? The upper middle class can control their use of credit to optimize the value they get from it. They have tools they can use to manipulate their cost of taxation, but only by reducing or deferring their own disposable income e. g. Spendable money. Those who have businesses or consultancies have a little more flexibility in taxation. They can afford to choose between certain luxuries, but cannot afford to have every luxury, at least, not all at once. For example, a large luxurious home and nice cars, probably paid in cash, but not a yacht or personal staff. The upper middle class can afford high quality clothing, food, furniture, etc. This allows them to be more productive because their goods are more durable and require less care or replacement than the cheaper goods other people buy. In reality, lower class people can also afford better goods, but often lack the financial skills or foresight to make those choices. Dining out is relatively affordable in comparison to making a similar quality meal at home. In the West, restaurants are heavily subsidized by the government through support of low-wage employees, e. g. food stamps, child care and, earned income, credit, free health care, etc. allow them to work at a very low cost. People of all classes eat out frequently because of this, but higher income people can afford better quality meals and service. The American middle class and its subdivisions is not a strictly defined concept across disciplines, as economists and sociologists do not agree on defining the term. Household incomes commonly exceed $100,000. Typical professions for this class include lawyers, physicians, military officers, psychologists, certified public accountants, pharmacists, optometrists, financial planners, dentists, engineers, geologists, professors, architects, school principals, urban planners, civil service executives, and civilian contractors. Three of the five luxuries they want. With moderate restraint, they can drive a nice car, live in a pleasant home, and take a nice vacation, they can invest for their retirements. But they do need to avoid consumer debt and spread out their splurges.